Well, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? I am the resurrection and the life. Chapter 11 it was. Um, chapter 12, moving on into that thing. I, I like the story of Lazarus. I mean, it's uh, wonderful. But I'm going to have to tell you, chapter 12 has one of my favorite scenes to try and visualize in the Bible. And that is, uh, you read through here and study this, and you're going to find out that Jesus has a uh, dinner. And uh, a lot of people are invited, all the Pharisees and the ones trying to discredit him. Eventually, that will uh, have a strong part in his death. Uh, and at the table sitting there, you know, is Lazarus. My goodness, when somebody gets out of a tomb, you know good and well, everybody knows about it. <laughs> I picture the scene. I try and imagine it. All these people sitting around there, the ones that hate Jesus so much, hate what he does, afraid of him because their religion is in jeopardy. And then he declares to be the resurrection and the life and calls somebody out of the tomb. And I just kind of think every time they think of a question to say, you know what? I think they, 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 I think before they try and question Jesus, they look over and see Lazarus sitting there. Now, if I was Lazarus, this is how I would respond to each and every one of them. So, what's your question? I don't know what I'd say. I don't know what Lazarus would say, but every time they'd look, they'd be sitting Lazarus, and he would be the... He would be the living proof. He said, that's a ch living proof. And then an amazing thing in this chapter is um, they want to kill him. Lazarus is resurrected. The religious people want to kill him. Why? Because he's living proof that Jesus is who he says he is. We don't see it in America very much. Uh, but across this world today, there are more people that name the name of Christ, Christians, that die for their faith uh, in, than in any time in history, in other nations. Uh, people die on a regular basis strictly because they are Christian. Why? Living examples that 2,000 years later, he changes lives. He transforms lives. I just think that's so amazing. Uh, the Bible is, a, is a, you know, of course it's, you know, a little different. But, uh, you know, you think here we're fixing to study chapter uh, 12. And um, that's half, numerically, that's halfway through the Gospel of John. There's 21 chapters. Uh, but um, life-wise, chapter 1 through 11 uh, up until this point, has been three years for the most part. It covers part of his earlier life, but for the most part, three, three and a half years. Uh, and then the rest of it, the last half, is, is just a week. You know, and you might ask yourself, why? Well, the last half is the most important. It's when all of the things take place that prove Jesus is who he says he is. And then the deed that a rejection by his own people, Israel, and then allowed to be put on the cross and die for your sins and mine. Uh, but that's kind of uh, amazing when you stop and look at it. The book, you know, halfway through is, is all but a week, all but a week. Uh, next couple of chapters are pretty interesting. We'll see you in John chapter 13.